Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today and in today's video I'm going to talk about what a lying POS Keegan Anthony Klein is in the Delphi murder case. I want you to listen to these words during his HLN interview and then I'm going to show you some shocking things. Just listen to what he says. I feel like I'm being harassed completely. Did you? He feels like he's being harassed. Poor guy. Let me tell you something. In light of information that was obtained, and I want to give credit where it's due, to a YouTube channel called The Murder Sheet, who were the ones who got the court documents, uh, and the people who do that podcast are Anya Kane and Kevin Greenlee. They obtained 194 or 197 pages worth of documents showing interrogations that investigators did of Klein, asking him questions. Now, remember at the beginning when Klein said he felt like he was being harassed? Well, as it turns out, the murder sheet did a podcast where they have an alleged witness, so to speak, who used to communicate with Keegan Anthony Klein, and this person was catfished and victimized by them in the past, and I'm going to show you some shocking things in this video, but the first thing I want to do is jump to another part of this interview with Klein, and I want you to remember these things. Take a listen real quick. For her murder. So why do you think investigators are putting so much focus on you right now? I have not a clue. Because they, I think it's because they said I was the last person to talk to her, is what they've told me. So here you have somebody who's the last person to talk to them. Here you have somebody who is sitting in jail for possessing and distributing child pornography. Here you have somebody sitting in jail who is the last person to have known to have had contact with Abigail Williams and Liberty German via some sort of media device, according to these documents. And we're supposed to believe that he's being harassed. Give me a freaking break. I want you to take a listen to this witness. Her name is Kayla, who says she was being catfished by Klein when she was younger. And this is some pretty disturbing stuff. Uh, take a listen. She actually met him at a park. Me and my girlfriend. So I went to Foster Park because he said he lived in Galveston, Indiana. And like, he went to different states so he said he was in Kokomo for a little bit. We went, I had my friend go with me actually. And he was just, he was pissed off. I didn't meet, I, I have not met him face to face. And he sent me a really, really, really shitty message. Now, this is the important part. After he used a fake account to catfish this girl, Kayla, after they met in a public park when her friend came with her, allegedly Klein sent her a really, really, in this girl's words, shitty message and listen what he threatened to do. And said, you know, I should cut your throat for this and watch you bleed out, blah, blah. Why would you bring someone with you? And it snapped on me snapped on her because she brought a friend with. Why in the world would somebody snap on somebody for bringing a friend with? We've already got Klein saying that he never had any intention of meeting these girls, that he created these catfished accounts. And, and, and let me show you that again, because this is important.
and investigators haven't confirmed if what he says is true. Do you think you're going to be charged with anything related to Abby and Libby's murder? No, no, I don't. So they haven't, the state police haven't threatened that? No, no. Whoops, I think I might have gone a little too far here. Let me try that again. Forgive me, I have notes here, things like that. This is where I want to look at. Okay. Investigators are putting so much focus on you right now. I have not a clue. Because they, I think it's because they said I was the last person to talk to her, is what they've told me. So we're all supposed to believe this is one big coincidence. He's gone on the record in documented interviews saying that he created these accounts. He never intended to meet these girls. Yet we have this eyewitness here, Kayla, who said that he was she was repeatedly catfished by Klein, met her at a public place, threatened to violently slit her throat and we're supposed to believe that's all just one big coincidence i'm sorry but at this point and i would encourage everybody to listen to this entire murder sheet episode number 61 kayla's story they said that they forwarded this information to the police i hope the police are busy interviewing whoever kayla is right now because she could have crucial information about Klein's behavior and it seems like if this person is real and being truthful which it seems they are that this shows a pattern of behavior and deception by Klein that goes even further back than investigators thought and the fact that this girl has knowledge of the fact that Klein threatened to do violent harm to her while he was catfishing her in the past and was mad that she brought a friend with boy doesn't that sound like a scenario that's very, very familiar to all of you that involve Abby and Libby? I'm sorry, Mr. Klein, but if I were you, I would drop the bullshit right now and I would beg investigators to let you start talking about what you really know because Indiana is a state that has the death penalty and I don't believe for a second, Mr. Klein, that you don't know more about this case. I know you're sitting in jail right now, rotting away, and frankly, I hope you do for the rest of your life, regardless of whether or not you were involved in this. But if anybody out there knows Keegan and talks to him, give him some good advice and tell him to tell investigators everything he knows and do it soon. Because in the end, if he doesn't, it's only going to be worse for him. And there is no way all of this is a coincidence. I'm just disgusted by this individual his lies and again I want to go back here one more time before I shut this video off just just remember these words when you think about this person I feel like I'm being harassed completely did you have anything to do with the murders of uh, Abby or Libby not at all and I gave up my DNA a hair follicle test I've done everything they wanted me to he feels like he's being harassed my goodness let today be 